Hello. Can you guys hear us? Is this the end of the technical difficulties that we made it back? Are we back around? Cody, I need a confirmation. Someone, please. All right, Ryan Komatz, thank you. We fucking did it. We went through some shit just now. You guys don't even know. Hello, and welcome to Random Movie Roulette. We're back. We've had to readjust a lot of shit. We had to delay this episode twice. The people are waiting for justice. They want to know what everybody knows. Everybody knows. (laughs) That the CG in this film is really bad. <laughs> I, I I tried to to learn that on ukulele, and it's it's a very difficult song, and it's not it's not good enough to. Is that a real this. song? Is that a cover, or is that like it's a song that was written for that movie? Best original song, Oscar winner, 2017. Wait, no, was it was it? not written no. for that movie. <laughs> yes, it was. No way. It had to have been. What do you mean it had to have been? It's not like she's singing about the just everybody knows yeah, that that's all in the for cave. That movie. Do I it's need not... to look this up on my phone, which blocks up the freaking... Yeah, just, just lean away. Now. <laughs> just just take a, a quick nap as you're, you're typing <laughs> away on it. Um... We we watched Justice League, not Zack Snyder's Justice League. Uh, this is Apparently Joss not. bastardization of. Even though doesn't it say Zack Snyder? It Justice does. Yeah, League. all over the movie. You, it know, says weird. The you could you could go shot by shot and then count like which ones Zack Snyder and which ones just Joss Whedon. Yeah. You really can. I mean, whenever Ben Affleck gets fat. <laughs> like that's that's how you know or if like superman's mouth looks uh ungodly and <laughs> illegal so basically everything after like the first 15 minutes is the joss whedon yes. movie you know we do have a clip we wanted this to start with and this is this is very important remember when you were making out with your first girlfriend and you came right as she touched your leg it was me parry I jerked you off at super speed so it'd seem like you nutted at just a woman's touch. Yeah. Honestly, mm. what a lame supervillain counterpart. It's just reverse me. Like yeah. reverse <laughs> Batman or <laughs> reverse Batman. <laughs> the bats are inside out and they're just screaming. No, it's a, it's a giant bat who has legs. At least reverse <laughs> Superman has a different appearance and a different name. Bizarro, yeah. Have you guys ever seen the robot chicken sketch where everyone fights their reverse villain? Like, Superman, like, has to fight Bizarro and he's complaining about fighting Bizarro. Flash has to fight Zoom and he's complaining about fighting Zoom. And then Wonder Woman's like, well, gee, have you ever seen reverse Wonder Woman? And it's, like, this woman with, like, her tits just hanging out. Really? And, like, <laughs> oh, my God. Tails, and she's just like, hey, Wonder Woman, fuck you. Which is just the accent that they gave her in that sketch, but I guess you can only be so surprised uh, at, at where robot chicken or whatever goes. <laughs> yeah, um, but look it up. It's it's the funny three seconds. So we we were no strangers to this movie. We have technically covered it at some God, point. God, no. <laughs> yeah, we you did recall. a a Patreon only commentary of the movie about a year or so ago. This was back in the uh, yeah. in the old apartment days. Yeah. Um, and our I, first live venture uh, was that, our first live video venture. Yeah. It's, it, I, I have a special place in my heart for this movie. It's been it's been a seminal point of, uh, of our history together. And I even watched the extended version of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. <laughs> so I have all the context yeah. of the DCEU. Yes, I want to ask you that now because we're all talking Pat. about, we're all talking about the the Zack Snyder cut and everybody's like oh this will make the movie better Jack did the Batman v Superman it extended doesn't cut make, make the it movie better, better. It I doesn't. really really disagree I really think it makes the movie uh. better uh, and I will fight you but about it. But it, it. it didn't it make makes... Lex Luthor better, and I sure you Steppenwolf will not be better it, with no, it, two and a it half it did hours. make Lex Luthor better. I disagree. I think it gave him more, like, I mean, uh. it made, like, what he was doing clear. That That's the thing. In Batman v Superman, the original cut, like, he's there, and he's always just, like, acting maniacal, and you're not really sure, like, what actions he's actually taking to complete his plan ever. He just shows up yeah. in a helicopter. Yeah. And, and the ultimate cut, like... Like, it is still like that for a while, but, like, there is a reveal that is, like, what he has been scheming 
the the whole time and like what he was putting into place, which, which I like think works dark a lot side better. Related, isn't it? Like he's trying to stop dark I side from completely coming or something. forget. I'm actually pretty yeah, fucked see? up right now, and I cannot think see? of that. Yeah, see, that's the yeah. thing is that the, it doesn't matter. But the, I mean, no, see, nothing matters. <laughs> like, see, <laughs> see, the extended version it makes it better to you because you already liked it. But for us who didn't like it, the extended version didn't make it better. It just made a movie we didn't like yeah. longer, and we had to watch a movie we hated for more time. And I feel like that's what's going to happen. Did you with watch the extended version? I did not. But and what <laughs> room do you have? I'm well, just kidding. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we sat through the three-hour thing, man. We got like a badge of honor. I, which, I like it. I Making it sound like I like it. It's fine. I think it... I, I like it more know than what's it's fine. Not fine. I'm Whatever ends up, whatever ends up on like a movie screen, apparently, like whatever gets a theatrical release by DC, yeah, isn't fine. I shouldn't say that. Wonder Woman was good. Birds I, of Prey is okay. I'll stand by Shazam's Aquaman. Shazam's pretty good. Aquaman's perfectly fine. Aquaman, yeah, perfectly fine yeah. is the perfect way to put it's it. It's really yeah. just Zack Snyder adjacent stuff and the first Suicide Squad. That's. <sighs> That's a number. The first Suicide Squad is the worst. I think we can at least all yeah, agree I, on that. The first that. Suicide Squad is if there's already the, if, yeah. if there's been another one already. Well, there's another one coming out next yeah. year. They just released like the title and they everything. They finished shooting. Like it's happening. We have no choice. No, uh, Brian Komatz, uh, who I believe is from Blood Buddies. Hey, hey, hello hey. there. How are you doing? Um, he says it makes it better. Like how. Midsummer's director's cut made Midsummer better. It just kind of helps, but the movie is still the same level of quality as the theatrical, which I think is yeah, it's fair. I I like the movie alone as it is. I just think that the director's cut just like helps fill it out more, uh, and makes it uh, I think a, a fuller experience. But yeah, you know, well, whatever. Yeah, I haven't seen the Midsummer director's cut, but I feel like because that's a movie that I already liked, so having it fill in all of those right. other gaps will make what it better. What would you rather but drink, for... the hallucinogenic tea from Midsummer or Nana Luther's peach tea? Oh, I'll I'll, I'll drink, drink some the... pubes. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. That's fine. Uh, I've I've probably had like think worse about all the in my yeah. Mouth. Think about all the times you've been to restaurants. They're not completely sanitary. You might oh, have yeah. gotten a straight pube every now about... and then. Yeah, no, you definitely <laughs> did. We've all probably eaten more pubes. Uh, than we... It's like the thing with spiders that you eat like a certain amount of spiders. Uh, like every, every year like, in your yeah, sleep, like exactly uh, <laughs> the amount of cum that goes into a McDonald's milkshake. Exactly. Yeah. No. <laughs> Over a year's worth of like eating out at places, uh, you eat like. Four or five pubic hairs. So we're down on our pubic hair diets this year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. No, I went, I've been ordering out so much. I went to indoor dining for the first time in five months, like, last week. I was on vacation. We went out. Because upstate New York, they yeah, have opened indoor dining. Yeah. So I have gone out. I went out to a, a restaurant for Sarah's birthday. I felt bad about it. Don't worry. Uh, I felt very I, bad. Dude, I but... went to a restaurant where the servers weren't even wearing masks, and I didn't. My server so wasn't you know either. What? I was really confused. I went to Cheesecake Factory twice, and then this place once. Cheesecake Factory was actually very good about it. Thank you, Cheesecake Factory. Good job. We here at Random Movie <laughs> Roulette Support love... Cheesecake Factory so long as yeah. they give us gift cards. I know a lot of you are out there calling there's to no other way we'd be able to afford the it. Cheesecake yeah. Factory, <laughs> but we're here to say we're back in the cheese. We love... The Cheesecake Factory. Okay. Back in the cheese. That's <laughs> the my cheese. first gay bar was the Cheese Cock Factory. The cheese? Wait, really? I, that's yeah. A... Smegma. That was their theme. Okay. Well, See, now I thought you... Was a well, joke, I've been taken. See, now I thought you were just making a dumb pun. I didn't think that yeah. there was an actual place called that. There's not. Oh. <laughs> I'll just get up and go. <laughs> shame, shame, shame. Oh, God. Okay, let, let's actually talk about Justice League here. Yeah. I want to, we're, look, we're gonna, like, dunk on this pretty hard. <laughs> like, I, like, don't worry, like, that's coming. I do just want to, like, take a we're second and be, nice like... We're gonna say nice things first. Let's take, let's say the nice things. Uh, everyone go around. I know you two will struggle more than me, but yeah. I like, I, there's some good things. I like Danny Elfman's score a lot. Yeah, I like that it. he samples the John Williams theme and his own Batman theme, but still keeps Hans Zimmer's mm -hmm. Wonder Woman theme. Um... I like that this is at least a short movie. It's <laughs> Honestly, by that might be the only thing I got. Hours, <laughs> that might be all I got to the too. The three hours you made me watch a Batman v Superman. It's tight. It's I don't mean short. Just like oh, thank yeah. God it's over. It is like tight. It does go from like uh -huh. thing to thing to thing to thing. It doesn't sit around too long. So 
it keeps you at least energized in that way. I like J.K. Simmons as Jim Gordon. We'll never see it again. No, but yeah, I but like for like him. the five minutes at school. Yep. Um, I do. The really, Wonder really Woman. Really glad oh, he hit the gym so hard for that. Oh, uh, for that role. The Wonder Woman opening is great. Um, and you know, obviously, we all like seeing Green Lantern in that little flashback and. Yeah, yeah, that was that was really cool. I like that version of Green Lantern. I would, Are we going to I show the like trailer? To see more of it. Uh, yeah, uh, fucking everything's fucked up. Let's just show the trailer. Here's. Nope. already here. The others, where are they? Arthur Curry, the Aquaman. It's on him. Organic and biomechatronic body parts. He's a cyborg. You should probably move. Barry Allen. Whoever you're looking for, it's not me. He's a Batman. They said the age of heroes would never come again. It has to. See you playing well with others again. Just like a bat. I dig it. Maybe temporary. Aww. At and the I mean, same time, right. I kind of thank God that that's not the movie we saw. Well, you subscribe to HBO Max in 2021. You you're going to fucking see that movie or miniseries, depending on where it ends up. I, I hope it's a movie. So, so now, yeah. so, I want to sit down for four hours and watch see, Zack now, Snyder's Justice League. Now, here's the thing that I kind of want to do with this. I, I don't want to go through like scene by scene, plot point by plot point, and pick it apart all the time. Because we kind of no. did that. Yeah. I want to just kind of like... The, the Snyder Cut's not out yet. I think this is time for, like, I think we need some sort of, like, speculation of, like, what could that movie be, like, in comparison to what we got? Like, what is coming out? What is getting added? Like, how are they changing this movie to make it a movie? Well, apparently... And why we'll, is it going to be four hours long? Apparently we'll see and learn who the fuck Darkseid is instead of it being a yeah, throwaway line from Steppenwolf. From, from what I understand, his version of the story more heavily involves dark side pulling the strings behind everything so we have scenes on apocalypse and stuff which they shot they cast an actor for like that stuff was in the can that they were planning to use hey cody um but also the um first of all the parademons don't look so disgusting in the original yeah. version, I'm hoping. Also, Steppenwolf has a whole different design, which neither here or there, because Steppenwolf is just a boring, bland villain. And that yeah, will still be why. it. See, that's the thing. But I'm this, wondering, like, the saving grace to that is that like, it's going to kind of make it seem like he is just a puppet being controlled by Darkseid, which I think gives agency to one character, although kind of taking it away from But at the same Dark time, it's <laughs> from like, you know, Loki was Thanos' puppet, but at least he was his own character, too. Right. Versus... Of everyone they could have picked on Apocalypse, many, if you're a comics fan, there's a whole variety of people that live on that planet, but they chose one that, like, I don't know about you, even I had to Google who the fuck Yep, it was. I had no idea like, who Steppenwolf was. Yeah. 
and we've read a considerable amount we're of comic pretty, books. We're yeah. pretty well versed in the DC lore and whatnot. It's literally every time that character shows up in this movie, it is a video game cutscene. I'm expecting <laughs> to see, like, press X to skip whenever he shows up. And I wish I yeah. could, because honestly, like, that is one thing where I'm thinking. I'm like, if he's still the villain of yeah. the Snyder Cut, I'm like, how is this going to, how are you going to fix this? Like, this character as a villain, the way, the way that they wrote him in this movie yeah. is just bad from the start. Like, there's right. no way to make him interesting with what they've given us. Right, I just think, like, you know, with... If you hated the movie, like if you hated it, like the way that you hate, like you hate this movie, I I, I have no illusion that like you are going to <laughs> to flip yeah. around See, on it. Yeah, like yeah. I don't think you'll like automatically love it now because no 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 you don't get it. Zack Snyder's it's not going to magically turn yeah. into a one hundred percent different movie. See, if now- this shit doesn't do it for you, it's still not going to. I it does it for me. Like I still like love Watchmen. Um, and few other examples, but like 300. Watchmen, I think, is though like a completely, I'm sorry that I like felt like I screamed my mic there, but Watchmen's like (laughs) a completely, it's completely different because they literally took word for word from written material someone else had written. This is not well Yeah, notice that, like, notice that like the, the 300 and Watchmen, like the, the, like page to screen adaptation from the comic books, like those are the movies that work. And even in Watchmen, like, the parts at, like, maybe towards, like, the third act where it's, like, this wasn't really part of mm-hmm. the, the novel and this is all Zack Snyder stuff, like, that part of the movie is significantly worse than the parts before it. Like, I think there's... Yeah. A, that's, that's, I think that's a, that's a sign. <laughs> I don't know. I... Call me naive. I, I... And also keep in mind that I did like Batman v Superman. I have no reason to think I wouldn't like a Zack Snyder-directed Justice League. And I genuinely don't believe what we've seen is that. I, I it, from, from what I can tell and from what I have read, that is absolutely not the case. Like, the movie was completely changed when Joss Whedon came on board. There's a whole scene where they have the fountainhead directly carved onto Superman's memorial. What? Because Zack Snyder's a libertarian, and, and he's a Rand. Is Zack Snyder a libertarian? You didn't know this. No, I don't care about his politics. Okay. No, what do you mean? Wait, he's. I mean, I guess apparently he's a I big do care. libertarian. That was like a whole thing. He like directly cited like the Fountainhead and stuff as an influence on like Man of Steel and Superman just like being apathetic and his. Uh, Lewis's interpretation. Whole that, been that, no, I, I like him so much less. <laughs> you didn't know why we all didn't like him. There was also well, I, I mean it can't There was also you, but... this is also around the time that I think it might have been around the time that he was like making his own Batman but he said something mm-hmm. about like I think he threw shade at Christopher Nolan's Batman movies and said that they weren't dark and gritty enough and he's like well in my movie something like I don't know Batman <laughs> could get raped in my movie that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no he was uh he didn't handle it great. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't handle a lot of the messaging very well. He's he's a jackass. I get it. Like I, I that that's not like lost on me. Yeah. And Joss Whedon's a jackass. Too. Oh, he's Joss Whedon's apparently a monster <laughs> <laughs> from what we've been reading. He's like, oh my god. He's like the Democrat version of Zack Snyder, where it's like he he it's like he'll say like he'll he'll put like a pride flag after he says like something like right. Wonder Woman shakes her ass <laughs> in the scene. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, Cody, and Brian uh, Singer's a major monster, well, so you know. D- Brian Singer's the Donald Trump in this, con- in this uh, comparison. Yeah. But Superhero directors, guys. Brian Singer's the Brian Singer. Wait it's for the pretty... Russo brothers to get canned. <sighs> Christ. Uh, Cody says, now that you've watched this multiple times and know, uh, and know more about the Snyder Cut, are the Snyder Whedon scenes glaring while watching for you? Well, okay, just starting it out, the, f- the first scene of the movie... With is Batman, completely, totally different. Than yeah, the like the it's very darkly lit. Batman yeah. is fighting this uh, parademon, but also like it, it's got like the shitty slow motion effects of like Batman doing a backflip onto. Oh the, my god! Like, yeah, that is the worst. Why yeah. do they do that? And then like, but then also, and then going into the everybody knows the the opening credit scene. I'm like, that is exactly That's Zack Snyder. Snyder like, cut. like sad melancholy. Humans I guess are cover the a... world is bad now that Superman and it, is gone. And also my favorite, I, I, my, I, I my, can believe that. And my yeah. favorite shot in the movie when it pans over the newspaper of Superman, David Bowie, and Prince, and it's like our fallen heroes. Like where are have they, they gone, gone yeah. to another planet? 
Have they returned uh, home? <laughs> Guy, talking yeah. about this movie is uh, fucking exhausting. I am, we haven't even gotten like I a know, I know. This movie. <laughs> but it, it's, Steppenwolf hasn't even attacked Themyscira yet. <laughs> oh Christ! Yeah, because that's the thing. Like, aside from like those the opening stuff, it's like I look at the only other things that I could fathom being Zack Snyder is like the cyborg scenes because it's like those are like right. darkly lit and and like and. We didn't go over like when we went around like what are the good things about the movie. We I didn't say anything, yeah. and it's not because I don't have anything to say. It's like I, in theory, I think the scene with Cyborg and his dad talking about how like he's a monster and stuff. Yeah. It's like I think that that there's potential there for a character arc. They don't really follow through with that at yeah. all, and also just the effects on Cyborg. He he just looks like a Snapchat filter. <laughs> like it's really like. It's, it, it's not proportionate to his face. Like, it looks very, like, skewed. It needs like, to be... I think, like, a cyborg costume needs to be more grotesque. Like, I think you need, like, this... I know this is, sounds gross and meaninglessly gross, but, like, have, like, flesh, like, growing over the metal, like, where the metal meets the skin. Do you know what I mean? Like, make it more ingrained really to his... You really do want this Snyder cut, don't you? <laughs> I want you a good... Sicko. <laughs> I want a good Justice League movie. I want a really good one, and we have... What is just, there's no other way to describe it. It is a turd. It is just like, I mean, a imagine piece of if shit. we'd gotten, what would have George Miller's Justice League looked like? Uh, with, with Henry Cavill as Batman like instead? like the Polar Express. Uh, yeah. Thank, which turned out not to be true, thank God. Yeah. Was um, it supposed to be one of those animated movies? He, like, that, that was the rumors rumor. That, that was, his, was what it was going to be, but Army Hammer was going to be Batman. DJ Cortana was going to mm-hmm. be Superman. Jay Baruchel was going to be Maxwell Lord. It was going to involve a burger chain or something. Yeah. It was. I, I read that screenplay, and it is. There's fun stuff in there. It wouldn't have been good. Like there was fun stuff in there, though. It would have been cool. I, I think. It, I think it would have been really successful if it was made. I, I think it would have gone over very, very well. Um, it just never kind of got that opportunity. Apparently not for the best, given how people seem to be enjoying our current slate of DC films. Uh, hasn't eventually really caught after, on yet. after after like four punches to the face. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, uh, Cody wants to know how we feel about Cyborg and Doom Patrol. Cyborg and Doom Patrol is way better because he's a way character, better. and he and he fits in with that world. Like they yeah. write him to be. I was skeptical about Cyborg being part of Doom Patrol, but it works very well if you watch that it show. Works, and yeah. if you haven't watched that show, and you have HBO Max. You should watch that show. There's it's no reason great. not to. That's what I want to know about, like, why did they choose Cyborg? Like, why didn't they just pick Cyborg gets his technology from Apocalypse, which is where Darkseid is from. So which is it's just like a new a 52 fucking yeah. bullshit thing. Basically, it's another thing once, to tie in Darkseid, yeah. who's basically DC Thanos. Part of the new 52 is just like this like intense push of Cyborg on, yeah. on everyone. Like, they wanted him to be their, like, their diversity play because, like... They didn't want yeah. like just but have John Stewart and like as Green Lantern. Yeah, and... yeah. But even but even for this movie, it's like you could have cast a black Green Lantern if you wanted to like fill that quota. I but... I think they were worried about the budget. I think they they had or maybe out even. But I'm yet. like, how much more f- expensive could Green Lantern effects be than the cyborg effects? Because it's like oh, way more. Yeah. I think also because I think again, I guess for the Ryan this Reynolds movie Green... specifically, they wanted to do. Mother box and things like yeah. that. Yeah, and I guess and also the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern movie was still like kind of a, 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 they were kind of fresh from those so scars fresh because Deadpool was a year before. I feel like Deadpool was a big reset of just like forget Green Lantern except for the joke in Deadpool two where he kills him before yeah. he can do Green. And Lantern. you know how Ryan Reynolds only talks about that now about like yeah. how bad Green Lantern was. That and seems to be his Orange favorite thing green. to to bring up. You know, I'm thinking I'm like I would have so much rather have done like. Green Lantern or X Men Origins Wolverine? Than yeah, uh, X Men Origin Wolverine. I saw like like the leaked copy online when I was in eighth grade. I'll never forget it. Like it wasn't. Not all the visual effects were there. Like I remember, like there was just like green bodies that were supposed to represent. Oh no, that Wolverine. was accurate. You just only thought all the visual effects were there. <laughs> That's just how it looked. That's how it looked in theaters. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess uh, I couldn't really be that surprised. But it, it was uh, a particularly bad experience. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, that, that movie's fucking batshit crazy. And there's so much like stupid bullshit that you could, you could tear apart there. This movie, I think, may edge it out a bit. There's like a lot of... of really I think that shit. at least 
Like not going that not, not like digging back to the nineties and like stuff like, you know, Superman Four and Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. I'm like mm-hmm. I think that okay, I take okay. I'll say what I say, but then I'm gonna take it back. I was okay, gonna say I was great. like, this is like the worst uh modern comic book movie of this like decade. Oh. But I remember that f- Josh Trank's Fantastic Four exists. Yeah. So that honestly, really, that is I would I, say Justice League. I might League. think this is worse. <laughs> I would say Justice League. I think is this like, is a more high profile failure. Like this is a yeah, bigger no, fall yeah, in your face. Yeah. But like I think that Fantastic Four is like I think there will be I mean, I think there will be books written about both of these movies. Yeah. Like yeah. I mean, I think Justice League is probably on par with Batman Forever, but I think that's the nicest okay. thing you can say. Sure. There's some people who like Batman Forever. I think it's in that way just that it's like it's fun and it's colorful. And there's yeah. stupid shit, but it's not as stupid as Batman and Robin. I just, you know, another thing for like why I would want to see the Snyder Cut. I'm not off of this. Um, I mean, really, what else can we talk about? Yeah, I mean, I guess at this point, you can't have a, a podcast about the Justice League without talking about it. But like the the Snyder Cut was positioning like positioning the, the story to go in more of like a weird, crazy DC Comicsy direction. Do you know what I mean? Like they were trying to put in Martian Manhunter. They were trying to introduce a Green Lantern in it. It was supposed to have Dark Side. Like it seems like they took a lot we of like we were the... gonna learn that Lois Lane was the key. <laughs> the key. <laughs> Fucking more <laughs> nightmare sequences is apparently a thing. Like that was the thing from Batman v Superman that we needed more of. That fucking desert punk Dumb bullshit. Fucking Mad Max <sighs> wannabe. <laughs> I was like looking at that, and I'm like, honestly, that scene, like that 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 whole nightmare scene. I'm like, if that was what more of this movie was, like, I don't know. But but it's like, but then again, it's like there's parademons attacking in this movie, and it doesn't look cool. No. So it's like, I don't know if there was anything that could have saved this. Like, look, I I think parademons don't look good on the screen. I think, again, <laughs> I think again, parademons like just thing. don't look good. Yeah. Also, again, yeah. because they're just another like. Like they're just a drone. It's yeah, like Ultron CGI fucking army robots. that they're gonna fight. Like and Jack Kirby art, while beautiful, is also just kind of not meant to jump off yeah. the page. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, like look at like what they did with Doctor Strange. They they did some cool stuff yeah. with his his but drawings. Just but... when we look at whatever Galactus looks like in person someday, <laughs> maybe <laughs> whatever when he's he not looks a cloud. Like. That's another one. The Rise of the Silver Surfer is like That's, I think we need to watch that at yeah. some point. That I haven't seen it since I saw it in the theater as a child. Uh, it was I one of those movies that, like, as a out. kid, you're very like you're not as uh, di- you're not as like you discerning. Know, yeah. So I yeah. just watched it, and but I watched it, and I was like, that was bad. Like there was no <laughs> like I didn't even have to like I saw Spider Man three that same year, and I was like, I like this, and I I kind of still do like I kind of I kind of still do like Spider Man three in some Silver. in some regards, but like. Fantastic Four 2, I, I saw it, I was like, wow, this is just a bad movie. Like, I felt bad yeah. after watching it. I felt bad that I made my parents waste my money to see that. Like, you I never like, felt you that like before. You, like, led them to the theater by gunpoint, and you're <laughs> fucking... We're watching this. I will make myself Batman. Um, okay. We, they, we have to talk about the Batman of it all, because I, I loved Batman and Batman v Superman. I fucking hate him in this he's terrible in this he's the worst this is the worst batman i can't believe in how little i can't believe how the like the trajectory of how much he cared from that movie to this one like it's really like even i who i like i didn't love the mm-hmm. portrayal of bat, 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 ben affleck's batman in that movie but like in this one it's like he is visibly not trying. Like he is like just like kind of groaning and like grunting his way through yeah. the performance. Yeah, like he, he is phoning it the fuck in in this. Like he was done. He didn't want I don't think he, even I mean I think even from like when Snyder was directing but like I don't think yeah. Ben Affleck really wanted to do, do And this also in anymore. his defense he was I don't want to be like, oh, he was going through so much. Like, no, he boom. was. He like went but to was going rehab around this yeah. time. Like he was, he was dealing with his own shit, and yeah. also he was being tortured by fucking by the internet, like just like constantly, all these fucking nerds and reporters and nerdy yeah. reporters going after him, being like, well, how's the fucking uh, script for the Batman going? How how is that going? Are you guys ready to start just the Batman? Like, he's like, my marriage is falling apart. He's like, I just put out like what I think is going to be like. A, I mean, it wasn't. It was a piece of shit. But what I think is going to be a three hour long mob epic that I've been working on for years. And all <laughs> we, we want to talk about night? is this. But yeah, he was so <laughs> excited for that. He was he was ecstatic. And he had to just like instead 
answer questions about a Batman movie that like he probably didn't give a shit about by that point. You know, I think he wanted to give it no, by that point. Yes, by that point. Yeah. Yes. No, I'm sure at some point he was really he was excited that he wouldn't just be dead. Yeah, anymore, and I think he really but... did love that character. I just yeah. think he hated playing that character, which is super reasonable. Yeah, and I think that there was. When he got announced as being cast as Batman, there was like, you know, a big internet storm of like hate for him on yeah. sight unseen. And even at the time, I was even like, yeah, he's going to like, well, let, let's yeah. at least give it a shot. Yeah. Let's see what it looks like. And then, I mean, and after I saw really it, I didn't like Batman it. But... Superman. <laughs> I think it's the best looking Batman. Like Batman v yeah. Superman, Superman, uh, Batman v Superman, Batman is the best looking Batman and on screen. Jeremy Irons is the best Alfred. Definitely the best Alfred. Period. Yeah, I know you like Michael Caine, but I just I don't I know. I hate Michael Caine. I doesn't do it. I just see Michael Caine, and I don't like the accent. <laughs> What's wrong with the accent? <laughs> just like, Michael it's Caine's just so accent. Cockney and like it's not like posh, fun, <laughs> like dry Alfred. It's so much like. Oi, Governor, Mr. Wayne, you watch. <laughs> That's how he talks. He's not putting yeah, on a voice. Yeah, so get <laughs> someone better. <laughs> Anyone else. He's, he's there, make these demands? He's there to give inspirational speeches. I'm getting he's, my time machine going to 2003 and making sure Michael Caine is not cast <laughs> No, Batman Begins. Well, that's the thing. At least Michael Caine... It's like there's a there's a, a, a pathos behind that character. Like he he like you know gives inspiration. The character of Michael Caine. Of of, uh, <laughs> but like yeah, the the Jeremy Irons Alfred. I'm like all he does is just make like shady like snide comments there's, like the whole but time. I like there's like no sassy on. bitchy you just said, Alfred. There's a character to that 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 Alfred. He makes very dramatic. But that's speeches. but that's the, my problem Let is me. that that's just every Joss Whedon character. Like yeah, I mean that's every, no, more that's just, fun than. I saw a man in India with a yeah. ruby. The it has thematic purposes. <laughs> and you know I've what? never I don't... been so disgusted by the words ruby or tangerine in my life. When Alfred <laughs> from the Christopher Nolan movies tells a crazy war story, I do not believe him. I, I <laughs> know for a that. fact that he's fucking lying. If Jeremy Irons <laughs> but that reads also... that shit, I'm like, he did that but shit. But what if that, that could also be a character thing? What if he's just telling Bruce something to get him motivated? <laughs> he just makes up stories that have motivated yeah. this man's whole life. <laughs> like when he asked him, he's like, "What did you do in the forest?" He's like, "I, I, I, I we, we burn the forest. That's what." <laughs> it's like when you tell a kid like where where Santa comes from. Like <laughs> Jeremy Irons does the best he can in this movie. I want to point Wayne, that out. I promise your parents are in heaven. Jeremy, if there's anyone man. who I could say is trying their best in this movie, it's. It's Ezra Miller, and it's the worst performance because of that reason. <laughs> <laughs> Everything he says is just so annoying and I've, like grating. And <laughs> I've really come around on the other side of it. I I used to fucking love this flat, and now I cannot stand it. It's the worst. It's the I also worst. just don't like Ezra Miller as a performer. I Choking do. not with but yeah, standing. That was that was a fucking. I also just don't care for this boy. I think he much like Barry Keoghan or whatever is just in. Icky right. looking yeah. acting. You just hate ugly whatever. people. See, like, and there was, I think, Lewis, there was a time in his life where he was in, like, We Need to Talk About Kevin and Perks of Being a Wallflower. When yeah. he's playing, like, sullen, sad indie boys, right. he and could do fine, but then, like, they, but then they put him in, in this and in the Fantastic Beast movies, yeah. and it's like, he really just can't be. Uh, this type of character, or the, in Which this type of movie. Which is why we'll be replacing him with Timothy Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> I do think. For the wow. Schneider cut. Wow. Timothy Chalamet really did become the new Ezra Miller. Like he, oh. they're the same horrible pale boy. They are pale boys. Yeah. I mean, apparently Ezra Miller is also a monster in real life. So feel free to like. I feel like you can put this video. And if that's of it. the case, I am happy to strip away every yeah. nice thing I've ever. There's said. a video him. proof of it on the internet. I feel yeah. like you can take those two and. Miles Teller yeah. and just like put them in a rocket to the moon that'll go by the moon and die. In Have you space. ever seen the, the video <laughs> of Timothy Chalamet when he was in like high school and he had to make like some sort of algebra rap for his class? It is what? like, no. oh my god, no one else looks <laughs> up fucking Timothy Chalamet. Did you on hear YouTube? that Timothy Chalamet gave chlamydia to like a number of people at NYU? Hell yeah, <laughs> that's how you fucking do it. Good. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm sorry that that happened. That's got to be really traumatizing. I've never gotten chlamydia, but it must be pretty scary. Uh, this is my way of humble bragging about never having <laughs> gotten chlamydia. Well, at least you can say that. <laughs> the rest Let's of us chlamydiates that. have to sit here. Chlamydiates. Oh, wow, wow. Okay. I didn't mean to put everyone in this position. We didn't have to reveal that. Let's move on. I didn't get it either. Okay. Everyone, let's just say, uh, no one on Red Movie Roulette <laughs> has ever had chlamydia. You'll never know if we're telling it's the truth. just a scare. 
<laughs> Christ Almighty. Okay. Uh, Aquaman is is technically introduced in this movie as, as well. is Mira. And Ma- yeah, Mira. Yeah, um, Mira. Honest, can we talk about the <laughs> Aquaman? Wait, can we talk about the Aquaman like action scene in this movie, like the underwater fight with oh, Steppenwolf? Awful. It is. Uh, I I'm, I'm at least <laughs> glad. Awful. I'm at least glad that they changed what the underwater effects would look like for the yeah, Aquaman the movie. Aquaman, and they don't have to make bubbles to talk. Oh they can just god, do it. it's terrible that scene. All this stuff the, where he's like in the outskirts of Atlantis, which is not very clear. I think I think I and most people thought that when he was swimming down there, he was in Atlantis. I didn't know that this was just like some fucking abandoned Ruin. part of the sea where they. Yeah. Why did you guys? I wonder why did you think it looked like Atlantis? It was just like some like rundown like. Rock. I don't know I what he's sitting be underwater. Shit. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. It's what underwater. I, it's, it's underwater Wakanda. But what I was going to say is, guys, remember that they used Toto's Africa and Aquaman. Oh my god, it was like oh that no. Pitbull remix. That yeah. was oh no. God. <laughs> I didn't need to remind you. God, I think of we that, need to make like felt like We need to make like a top ten list of like the worst needle drops in the DC universe <laughs> movies. <laughs> this like that everybody knows. Um, uh, I gotta be uh, the Suicide Squad's the whole, use of the all whole of Suicide everything. Squad one. Yeah. One or two oh, moments in Birds no. of Prey. Died of, diamonds are a girl's best the friend in Birds of Prey. Without me. <laughs> in Suicide Squad. Is, that is the worst yeah. one, and it's not even close. It's awful, and it you should know, never have great. happened. The and songs in Suicide Squad, like the, the original songs, which are not in the movie, but like Purple Lamborghini, Sucker for Pain. It's so good. I <laughs> the, love it. It's so also, stupid. Also, Wonder Woman 1984 and, and will like, certainly have some bad needle drops. Mm, yeah. Big time. Yeah. I hope we ever see it. Um, I do too. We we probably will, yeah. right? They have HBO Max. They're probably thinking like we'll just rent it out through HBO Max. They're waiting to see what happens with Mulan and Tenet. And Tenet. well, they're not going to put Tenet on anything. Yeah, no. no Tenet will only will, be seen in a movie yeah, theater, and then eventually Nolan will only allow that. I, but I think they're waiting to see what the performance is like. Right. I don't think he understands that. Like, if if he just releases it, like in some places, like most people are going to wind up seeing it, uh, like on their computer through a shitty camera uh, that someone took yeah. into the theater. Like, you, you're not going to be able to stop it from getting out there. Terrible idea. But regardless of that, let, let's get back to Justice League here. The whole third act is the worst thing ever. I can't. Uh, uh, that it, is a point where. Uh, here's another th- good thing I could say about this movie. Um, this is like this is the cats of superhero yeah. movies to me. <laughs> I've seen this movie more than any of the DC movies. I've watched shit. it all of, uh, a lot of times for podcast purposes, but for shit watch purposes, almost every time. Uh, and it is. <laughs> Yeah, because the first time I didn't know what I was getting into, and then like a- a- as as it right. went on, I was just like, "Oh wow, this is just like." And then I had to t- again. It's the same thing with cats. I had to tell people, I'm "Like, do you know how bad this movie is? We gotta watch it. We gotta drink and see this movie." And then it's, it is like the 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 last the last act, like this the scene when Superman is like carrying that building. It, it looks like somebody's just dragging a Google image across the screen. It's so yeah, it looks bad. like clip art. It's it's <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. And then, but all like the the action scene with these fighting Steppenwolf at the end. And my brother came down watching. He's like, he's like, this looks like like a video game loading screen. Like it's because <laughs> he came down. I think it was like at the start of that action scene at the end. And then, like, stayed for the whole thing. And then he was like, wait, did I miss something? And I was like, no, that was the whole climax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it is cool when we get Superman back into the action, I think. I, I, I like not the fight so much between them. That one yeah. is a little silly. And the do you bleed line where it's clearly that, like a There's so many moment. bad moments in that Ooh. when they when they're yeah. fighting Superman. It's yeah. like the like when, when Wonder Woman screams like Kalel, no. Like it's the worst line reading. Uh it's and then there's also like terrible. Yeah, it's also like they the, the way that they're fighting him, like it none of it really looks cool. Like it looks like everybody's just like taking one shot at him and then like yeah. they move yeah. on to the next one. And then like yeah, the do you bleed line. And then like all of a sudden he just snaps out of it. For no reason. Well, no. Remember, he goes back to the farm to see Lois oh, Lane. Oh God, that's we have so to take stupid. that side trip. There's so many side trips. The scene in this movie when it's it's for no reason. It's Lois Lane and Ma Kent just sitting in office talking. <laughs> I was like, 
who who wanted to see this? And it's I mean, all- listen, I I don't think that's an invalid thing. I, they have that, been around for two movies. I do get that, but it's also it's like, yeah. what are they talking about in this scene? It really it it feels like there Joss were, Whedon's like brand of feminism, where it's oh, like we the, have to have two women talk in a scene, and like, but exclusively he can't pass the Bechdel test. They exclusively do talk about men about Clark. Um, it's it's pretty gross. Also. Like the the, the scene, like the, the thirsty joke is so gross and weird, and I hate that it's in there. I don't know; it just it doesn't work. And we don't really need to talk about the whole face plant and the boobs thing. Oh yeah, just, uh, I didn't even notice gem. that the first like three times I watched because it is it's quick. Yeah, but it's fucking it's so weird. It's, it's like that, that, and then also joke. yeah, but then also like going like all the praise that the Wonder Woman movie got. It was like this doesn't have a male gaze, like right, it's not yeah. sexualizing the women, and then like immediately going to this movie, and then we go to Themyscira, and all of the super like, bikinis. They're all wearing like like golden clad bikini armor, and it's like yeah. they, I mean <laughs> it, that didn't bother me. I didn't no, even really I, notice I that. I actually kind of like the Themyscira fight for what. It's oh yeah, worth. I think the Themyscira scene is great. Yeah. I, I think the the keep away. Yeah. Thing. Like, that's a really and fun I action do like, sequence. In the Superman fight with the League, the one moment I will say I like is just the moment where Flash is trying to sneak up on him. Yeah. And it's like, no. And the eyes move. Yeah. That's a really cool. But, and then shot. I do like the moment where he comes back to fight Steppenwolf and, like, you hear the cue from the John Williams theme and it's yeah. like, oh, there we go. But I also love the moment when he have a thing for justice. Yeah, I, that was a bad I was, read. It's, I was also, you know, no, it's a bad line. Like, there's no way you could make that sound good. Yeah. Like it's yeah. a bad line all around. And then, but also the um, what was I gonna say? When like, I don't even know where to go. It's like the because <laughs> I'm trying to think of all this action stuff that happens in the I last half. When it's like it's just a CGI it's just blur. Parademons, it's, parademons, yeah. parademons. And then there's a family that we keep cutting back to. Oh, like why? <laughs> why are why is it's the family almost, there? It's actually almost the same thing Joss Whedon did with that waitress in the first Avengers, where it's like uh, we're trying to get some civilian but, perspective. Yeah, but but she didn't have like a subplot that they kept cutting back but through throughout the whole movie. Wanted, the, if you watch the deleted scenes, there was a whole subplot. Yeah. There's a reason her. this it was is some deleted. real dumb bullshit yeah. that he uh, like she was kind of Cap's girlfriend and also like you cut to her and a cop during the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. we don't need to be a, like I I totally think that we need to keep like when making superhero movies now post Man of Steel we do need to keep in mind like the body count of a superhero yeah, it's nice battle having civilian However, perspectives, but I think just. This no, I don't want to spend role. time with them. They're not the interesting thing here. Because <laughs> like, at least in that first Avengers movie, it's like like that that character where it's like. During the action where it's like it's quick cut to them as they're like running away from something or something. Yeah. But like, yeah, like in this where it's like before the battle even starts, we're like sitting with them in their home, like learning, like, and then yeah. she pulls out bug repellent, like the little girl <laughs> pulls out. <laughs> I just, but then, but yeah, but you're like, by the time that we get to the final action scene, you're like, I really hope you die. Like, I don't but like, what, what, what are, what are we that, learning from but... this? Like, 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 what do we really get from it? Because it, no one, no one's like, just like, learning, like, it sucks to live in the scary? DC universe. Yeah, and also, yeah. And also <laughs> they're the only family in this deserted town. There's a yeah. few more. Superman wouldn't have just taken that whole building if there weren't people in it. They, 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 the way they like introduce the family though, like they feel super yeah. isolated from everything else. Like you don't see them interact with anyone. Like well, there's no, Especially reason. once all of Apocalypse right. comes. Yeah. It's not like they're going outside. Quarantine folks or the parademons will get you. God. It, this movie just... It, it just By the end, is such a clusterfuck. <laughs> and like I feel like I, I can kind of... Everything that comes before the third act is not good, but I can forgive. Do you know what I mean? If like it's stuck the landing. But like fucking... It's so bad, the third act. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen... Something that like just seems so devoid of like, you know, artistic value. It it's the like just from a color perspective, repulsive. It's like a kid ate a bunch of play doh and then threw it up. So yeah. should we talk about the after credit scene too? Um, oh, there is one. There's yeah. two. The first one, which is like some dumb bullshit, where it's like Superman and Flash, and they run, and then it's, it's, and it's ends on a freeze frame. It's from the yeah. comics. But the important one is the hit Gina Davis movie, A League of Their Own. 
Uh, we're, we're, uh, Luke, Lex I was Luthor assembles. excited about this. Like we're never gonna get we're it. We're never gonna get the Legion of Doom. No, it sounded so cool. Justice League, whichever they want to call themselves. And fucking Joe Manganello, Manganello, Mag- as Deathstroke, who was supposed to have. That's something we'll get in the Snyder cut. There was supposed to be. There was supposed to be more of him. Deathstroke scenes. Yep. Instead, he just shows up as some rando. Where if you don't know the comics, you wouldn't know. Yeah. Who the fuck and Lex Luthor is. was in the fucking movie. Like. Yeah. That was. He's thing. bald. He looks like Lex Luthor. Yeah. And like, I think. I, I think that I post credit scene was another Whedon thing, wasn't it? Probably. I think like I don't I feel think like that he was... would be the first one to be like, okay, we do something different yeah. in the sequel if this goes right. I have a feeling Snyder wouldn't do a post credit scene. No, no I mean he didn't either. for the last two movies that he yeah. did in the series. Like I think it would we, also be start. like all apocalypse stuff <clears throat> all the time. I think he probably yeah. would have wanted to direct New Gods, but instead. We'll see no, I don't think he would have gone for New Gods. No. I, I think he would have seated, but I think he would have had a big hand in it. Like he would yeah. have been like a supervising it producer. Been all Duvernay and King. And I, I'm, I'm stoked to see this. Like I really I'm, hope this comes to fruition. I don't think it will, but it'd be so great if it did. What New Gods? Yeah. movie. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like that. That's such a cool pairing. I love that so yeah. much. But we'll never I think, see it, especially with this now. It's yeah, we can't even further. get a fucking New Mutants movie out. <laughs> it's oh been God. it's been done for four years. Can't that put... was supposed to come out the same year this did, or a year before. A uh, year before, I think. Oh, sure. I could be wrong. I remember sitting in a theater and seeing a trailer for New Mutants <laughs> like they three years ago. Need uh. no education. Did they use that in the trailer? Oh yes. I don't remember, it, but wow, it was that's... it was cool. I I like that. I like the trailer. I have nothing against New Mutants. I have not seen it. But it is fucking crazy that it's been delayed as much as it has. Like, and there's yet, no getting Dark that. Phoenix just came on out. It did. Well, yeah, where was the scrutiny with Dark Phoenix? Like, <laughs> your biggest franchise, you're not, like, looking at it like, huh, I maybe mean, they, it shouldn't be a giant garbage pile. Well, just if you're going to kill it so callously like that, do yeah. it all at once. <sighs> it is so... I mean, Logan, I really think, was the yeah, but, end of X-Men. Yes, I, yeah. I agree, but they didn't feel that way, clearly, <laughs> so why didn't they care about it? To be like, we can't release this, let's delay it for four years and talk about reshoots that we'll never do. You know, it's, a, it's, it's so unfortunate that they didn't know about COVID beforehand, because uh, it's like, they were like, all right, it, we're going to release it. It's like, they might have, they, I thought they were, they were going to release it in April, right? Like, right in the in the thick of it. I, don't even, then, I wish they had known about fucking Disney Plus beforehand, because then they could be like, maybe we won't sign the streaming contract with HBO. Which is why, like, that's the only reason they haven't dumped it to VOD. Well, all we also know is that New Mutants will never come to 4K Blu-ray. <sighs> it doesn't matter. They have terrible 4K Blu-rays. Uh, and if you're buying it, then you are uh, you're buying a placebo. Yeah, I've not as someone who owns several of them. Let me tell you, I'm yeah, a fucking you... idiot for it. Yeah, you seem to have really yeah. jumped on to the well, the, you, the four the 4K not... trade. And I was there's... I remember I was sitting I was sitting back. I was like I don't know if the, I don't I like this might be a fad because remember 3D Blu-rays that was a big right, thing. Yeah. You remember DVD HD and then they came out with HD DVD HD DVDs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I mean I don't think 4Ks are going away in general. I think they'll be more of like a niche thing, but I don't think they're gonna just disappear. The format is still there. It's not like crazy expensive to produce and that's why like now why i find myself buying most 4ks is usually just because they're the same price or maybe like two bucks more than the original like blu-ray Blurry. so fucking why not I'd, I'd, i'll take the bump in resolution and i get the blu-ray anyway like it doesn't really make a, a difference. i'm proud that of my 4k blu-rays of my three movies that i own on, on 4k blu-ray one of them is tammy and the t-rex <laughs> And the other two mm. are the other two are us and Incredibles one, and it's just because they were the Steelbook versions. Yeah, I'm glad I own nothing on 4K. I we had to we had to, had to convert we, we had to, to bully you to buy alone. Blu-rays like yeah. The rest of the year. Oh my god, <laughs> we've really got fed up with that shit. <laughs> when we would be like, when I'd be like, oh, we should watch this, and you'd be like, ah, I have it, and then we'd be like, what? Cool, great, throw it in, and then you throw it in, and we're like. Why does it look like it was shot through like a potato? And you you're just like it's a DVD. It's fine. It's normal. And it's the same. It's not the same thing. What are you five? <laughs> it's pretty what are you, much my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. 
Jesus standard fucking definition Christ. and HD are pretty much the fucking same. <laughs> if Amazon has taught that me is, one thing. I, I think each step is, is substantial and meaningful. The blurry <laughs> graininess is exactly the same across both. <laughs> are you, like, blind? <laughs> Maybe. To be entirely fair, you want to know something that I was literally thinking on the way here? Yeah. I've actually never noticed what's wrong with Henry Cavill's lip in this movie. Are you serious? Seriously, never. Uh, I've we have never to show watched that scene this. and been like, oh, that looks weird. The, I'm just like, oh. I, I can't get past it. It doesn't strike me. I don't think I've ever even really noticed where... It looks like why like it looks weird. Unholy. It's not like okay. It, so I no, think it, I make weird exceptions for it, things. Because Steppenwolf it, and the Parademons still look bad. You know what like, the, the best way I could put it? Like the dysphoria it gives you is like, you remember in society where the the girlfriend is like laying in the bed and she's facing him, but like he sees like she's got the blanket over her and she's he sees that the legs are facing the wrong direction. Maybe. Oh God, am I the only one who likes We've society, society this much? Society once. I I really like society. <laughs> I, know you I, I don't know why I thought like a, a deep cut society <laughs> reference would do really well on this show, but I was. I know what I mean. It's it. I, know I mean, we know. all have and seen it. So I, good. I mean, yeah, we've yeah. all seen it, so I, I don't blame you for trying. It's we just can do I don't that for your host pick. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> we all know what we're dealing with. Oh, God. <sighs> we'll right. get to that in a little bit. Um, well, maybe we should wrap up Justice League here. Um, Oh, yes. real quick, we the, the one we haven't really talked about uh, is Wonder Woman's depiction in this. We've well, mentioned it. I think it. we did kind of touch upon like how like right. the 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 jump from the Wonder Woman movie, the the female view to Zach like, Joss Whedon's right. like kind of patronizing, like almost like 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 hashtag girl power brand of feminism that like to the point that she literally scoffs at one point and says boys i hey, hated that so much i really hope that wasn't in the Zack Snyder thing but i like i don't i don't know exactly how i feel about her character in this i i agree that like there are those like oh god not know, even I, just i like, work with dumb boys like not even just not that stuff fun. but i think that like i think her performance is worse like the line readings oh, yeah. are very flat like it's I, she just she doesn't just have one worst director she has two worst directors <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'll give you that um yeah i i do like how he depicts like the powers and like the way she fights i think is really interesting and dynamic i like how fast they make her and I, don't know, I think that fun. the running in front of the bullets during the bank robbery really just looks kind of bad. I really like, I like that. it. Yeah, I think it looks really fucking cool. I think that might also be a Whedon thing. I don't know, but like that is, I I, I, like, I like the way it looks. Anything upbeat in this movie is a Whedon thing. <laughs> if it yeah. ends without those kids dying, oh. it's there. And that's another. Whedon. And that's another thing I need to talk about with this movie is that like everybody thought that like the problem with the Zack Snyder DC movies is like, Oh, they're too depressing and gray and they're not fun and weed and and, and wacky. And I'm like, no, that wasn't the problem. Like those movies being like dreary and depressing right. and like hopeless is like, it is kind of, it's like, it's not a dire issue. Like I can, I'm fine with a movie, like having a tone like that. It's just that like the movie didn't really do anything with it. It just like felt like it was trying to look dark and depressing yeah. to try to make itself look like it's more serious, even though it's you just another superhero what I feel movie. Like this is actually comparable to. I do think it's kind of comparable to Age of Ultron, and I think the only reason that Age of Ultron probably has a better reception is because there's more goodwill for those. Yeah, who actually absolutely. Yeah, because th this is the other thing I was thinking about with Age of Ultron is that like they. The, the the color palette and like the the filter that they put over that movie like it tries to make it look like it's like more gray and serious yeah. and, and like, like this like is the dark middle chapter that was cut out in it and like weird dream sequences and stuff yeah well and they it ends really in an eastern european city they really were thinking of it as a trilogy and, and they were really like pushing the idea of that as the dark middle chapter like it, it seemed like that was gonna be the one where like the avengers die like that was the first time we were confronted with the possibility of one of them dying that was supposed to be like their moody teen phase i I think at least, though, like, I, I don't like the third act of Age of Ultron. I think it's the same bullshit of just, like, fighting this army of, like, no yeah. nonsense, nothing uh, characters. But Which is then also the third act of the other two. Exactly. Yeah, but it handled a little bit better. In Infinity War. Yes. I, I still think it like, at least wasn't, like, disgusting to look at, like, the third act of this. Like, it is, no. this is a, it's so fucking ugly. Yeah. How how do you fail on like that level? And like it wasn't just, how it was supposed to look. No, and I do think that's why it was probably extra hard because it was all 
nighttime yeah. shot, and then it's like, oh, and now we have to go over this with like they had to create fake and, lighting, yeah, yeah which, like light that just wasn't there, which never looks good. No, you know, you you can really fucking see that. It just it it looks like you know a kid with like south park construction paper puppets like moving things no it, it looks like the... someone's just like fucking around with instagram filters yeah and it's like you ever notice you put a filter on that like doesn't match at all it just looks like kind of like right. wavy and like <laughs> it's it, it really it, it is the lighting that 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 throws it off the most the the fucking orange sky is not good either but remember just when they tried i'm just looking at this poster right now i'm just thinking like Remember trying to keep Superman coming back a secret, like what, which gave what a was shit? that? Because they literally like told you that at the end of Batman v Superman that he was coming back. And like, why S would we is think in that? The poster and yeah, uh, and then after know. the movie came out, they like put him in the middle. They just like, they, they shoved him in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't have that version up there. We do not support it. This is this is our uh, Alex <laughs> Ross version. Of the post, I do fucking... like that they did that. I do like. Yeah, I think Alex I think this Ross is a dope poster. fucking poster. Yeah. I love the lighting. Where the fuck was that enthusiasm in the movie? <sighs> no, but we also talk about like, yeah, like the fluctuating like Ben Affleck weight. Like he's fat in one scene, yeah. and then like he's not fit in, in not, the other. not in one scene in in a shot. Like in this conversation between him and Aquaman, he every time they cut back to him, he has either gained or lost thirty pounds. And, and he's you can also see it, and his hair's changing. It's so weird, and it's not convincing at all. It, it it's not like it doesn't just blend in. Like you, it, of course you notice it. It's a morphing. Yeah. No. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really know what else to talk about other than like the the Superman portrayal in this movie. It does feel like a direct response to the reception of Superman's yeah. character in the last movies, where it's like he's fun and he's smiling. That's what people wanted. It's like and it's we were a very to get black suit Superman. It's like it's like that's like a very narrow viewpoint of like what yeah. people had a problem with with superman's character but in i those will last also movies. say i like superman's character in the other movies and to like have this much like and i get why people wouldn't but to have this much of an overcorrection is not fun uh i much prefer if it was just another movie of uh that superman uh that we that we got the yeah, that, the bummer the i think it works with, out i have no attachment to that character so yeah that's the other issue with uh with this movie where it's like the the it's trying to like it's like yeah. it's like fake fun like it's artificially trying to be fun it's like this is fun see <laughs> <laughs> we're ha we're having fun. It's like your dad, like your divorced dad, trying to take yeah, you out to the yeah. playground. It's like you're gonna tell you're gonna tell your mom yeah, that see, we had like, fun, right? See, it's like look, there's jokes and the the there's there's you know bright colors. Yeah. This is fun, right? Look this at, is what you wanted. His costume's right. He's real fast. Yeah, he didn't get along well with the other ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All yes. Right. <laughs> okay. Have we exhausted? Uh, I am fucking beat. Uh, yeah. This this is a tough movie to talk about, and this has to be the last time we do it. We need to make Absolutely. a vow here and now. Well, we're never going to talk about this movie I again. I guarantee when the Snyder Cut comes out, we're going to have to do the we're same thing. We're going to have to, yeah. We're going to have to watch this movie for four hours. Or possibly more if it's a miniseries. We don't know yet. Uh, but you guys can stay tuned for that. You know what is good, though? I think there are good movies that outnumber the bad in the DCEU now, or at least it's tied. I think it's <sighs> four and four. There are eight movies total. I forgot about Shazam. Yeah, I didn't see, yeah, I didn't see that movie. Um, Shazam's I, fine. Shazam's fine. Yeah, it's but a fine it's, it's, movie. I don't know. It's just this point because like, like the ones that people like, like Birds of Prey and Aquaman, I'm like, I don't like those either. I just like, yeah. I mean, I I like Birds of Prey less and less the more I think about it. I have to say, I now have a, an unreasonable irrational nostalgia for it because it's like the only movie I saw oh, in yeah. theaters this year. But <laughs> I get that. All right. Uh, Margot Robbie, Academy Award, 2020. So would we recommend <laughs> Joss Whedon's Justice League? No. In a morbidly no. curious, yeah. get drunk with your friends and it laugh at it way. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> nope, really doesn't. We're pretty much going to forget about it altogether. We created it as a correction and then realized people actually wanted yeah. to see the first thing. Uh, you've been retconned, Justice League. <laughs> Sorry. Warner Guys. Brothers is shallow. Here's what we're doing next week. Uh, we would go back to the list, except uh, it is... It's host picks, and Lewis host is picks, worse than baby. Steppenwolf. As if one unreasonably fucked up superhero movie that has no consistent tone or... Justice League was not my fault. I did not inflict no, no, Justice okay. League on you. I did a little bit. It's complicated. So, for my host pick, we will be watching The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Wait, are we doing both of them, or is it... Oh, we can. Do you want to do both of them? I, I can't make you guys do both I, of them. Here's the thing. I feel like you can't talk about one without the other. 
Um, like, they're like peanut butter and jelly, those two movies. <laughs> no, but it's like, because... Are they? Because I feel like there's a drastic difference. Well, think about it this way. If we do one of them, do you really want to do the second one somewhere down the line? <laughs> well, I only want to do the second one. I only do... I, me Cody, too. I'm I with feel you, like man. the second... Cody, what is Cody with? Cody really likes The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Cody, I'm so fucking with you. I think we saw that together, didn't we? In the theater in Burlington. Yeah. Well, good times. Doesn't much like Justice League doesn't matter anymore. Nope. It really doesn't. <laughs> Uh, this one is like it's almost sad how much it does doesn't matter. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> but, pretty, <laughs> pretty rough how irrelevant it's been made, and how how much hope for the future there was. Although I you know we didn't see the same thing with Justice League. It really League. doesn't exist when something like Morbius is coming out. I mean yeah, that good point. Anything <laughs> can happen. Venom happened. Yeah, <sighs> nothing makes sense anymore. There is a Spider Verse, boys and girls. <sighs> God, all right. <laughs> So it's Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing For Spider-Man. argument's sake, we'll say that it's just Amazing Spider-Man 2, but it's like, we're going to talk we're, we're, about the we'll first one. We'll have to address it. If you it, come, yeah. you might be surprised that we talk about both. Yeah, I mean, because here's the thing. The first one is so unremarkable that like I don't know how we can get an hour's worth of conversation no, out of I it. No, I think this is a good one to do do together. I, I, think yeah. it won't, I, don't, I don't think it'll hurt. Um, so please come back to twitch.tv slash roulette. Next week, uh, keep an eye on our Twitter at RM Roulette, uh, and we will let you know when we're going live. Typically, we can give you like a day's notice. We hope to give you more, but that's the best way to find out what we're doing. Also, follow us on twitch.tv slash RM Roulette. You'll get notifications when we go live, um, which is important because cause you don't want to miss the it's chance. It's usually to, 9 to, p.m., to whatever day shit. we decide. You can subscribe to us on YouTube. If you go to youtube.com slash arm roulette should bring you to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to us there. Um, we will post edited versions of these uh, live streams there if you missed the show. Um, so make sure you check that out. Where can the people find you guys? Uh, I am at JSP Jack on Twitter, Jack on 35 millimeter on Instagram. I'm RMR Cyborg. Jack Patterson on Letterboxd. I'm RMR Cyborg Mike on Twitter and Instagram. And most importantly, I just uh, did an episode with Next Best Picture. Uh, it, it'll be on their Patreon. The episode is on Boyhood. And the way they do their episodes, the first 20 minutes will be free to download from their podcast feed. And then the rest is on Patreon for like a dollar. Yeah, so. you can check out the first 20 minutes and you're like, I can't take Mike's fucking voice. I can't do it. I can't. And you don't have to pay the money to listen to it all. Which is great. I think we should all have that option all the time. Yeah. I, I encourage you, if you are sick of Mike's voice, you should definitely just stop listening. I, I, won't, I won't blame you at all. I get it. And I know that deep down you really care about us. <laughs> Bye. We're going to hear like a gunshot in like five minutes. <laughs> um, Mike. Get back in here because we, we we still have plugs to do. I did all. Oh, I, you're all you're all I done. I did all my plugs. Okay, I was you're on done. Next yeah, be, I'll be you. on next best picture right. for the episode of Boyhood. I write for beforethecyborgs.com sometimes. Sometimes you do that. <laughs> Things have been hard for me and Nate. We've been you know we're trying to have some sort of motivation, but we're gonna get back to it some point soon. Yeah, um, I also have a, a, a big announcement. We all do. Um, we'd like to welcome Cody to the RMR team. He's going to be Woo! the editor of RMR.com or RMRoulette.com. Um, we're going to be sending that up uh, in a few weeks, so keep an eye out again on our social media feed, um, and we will let you guys know. It's going to be um, Cody's awesome writing um, about movies and shit um, to be a place for everyone to find the episodes of the show, whether it be audio you know, it'll be a, just a central hub for this um, with some some great writing from Cody. And yes, Cody, you're an editor. I thought we talked about that. You're an editor, Cody. Congratulations. You're the editor. And hey. chief. Editor and chief or? No, we're or chief. Head. I think I think we're chief. We're chief. He's editor. He's the editor. We'll figure. It doesn't Me, matter. Tarzan, we don't need a, We don't need a, to designate a hierarchy here. We're not <laughs> uh, the United States government. We sit on we're medicine just, balls. We're super excited uh, that Cody is joining us. It's going to be a fucking blast. Please keep an eye out for all of that. Thank you, everyone who tuned in for this. This is so awesome. We had a great time. Uh, thank you for sticking through our fucking technical difficulties. Uh, this is not an easy thing to pull off, believe it or not. And uh, we're really just going by the seat of our pants. So we appreciate you guys sticking with us. Uh, we will be back, hopefully, within the week to bring you some amazing Spider-Man goodness. You have a wonderful time until then.